And so what are the key limitations that you see when we try to model very complex systems? So one of the things I think about when I think about modeling complex systems is, is what is the goal of modeling the complex system? So there's some situations where we really want to have perfect fidelity to a real world system. And so for predictions, like with weather, as a weather prediction, like you want, and you want to not just understand kind of how kind of air moves around, you want to really understand whether or not it's going to rain tomorrow or in an hour or two hours or whatever it is. And, and based on that, you have to have a great deal of data and a great deal of complexity. And then oftentimes the resulting models might be very powerful, very sophisticated, but there might be a reduced amount of understanding and actually how these things are doing what they're doing. On the other hand, if you want to just understand the features of a system, you can sometimes get away with a much simpler model, which might not necessarily be exactly the way that the model works, but could at least capture some of the complexity and kind of the, and the emergence of what you were talking about of that system. And so, um, so for example, I mean, this is a kind of trivial example, but the computer game SimCity, um, it is not modeling an actual city, but to give you an intuitive sense of how um, feedback operates or unanticipated consequences work, or just the fact that like complex systems can bite back and do weird things that you might not expect. Uh, SimCity is great for that kind of thing. And so, um, and it can also kind of give you a sense of, oh, when I do this kind of thing, according to this model of how Will Wright or whoever was programming it thought cities would work, this maybe would be the, the way it works. Whether or not that is actually how the city operates, that's an entirely different, different thing. But so for me, I often think about like, yeah, like what is the ultimate goal with the model? Is the goal to kind of understand things? And we have to recognize and our human minds are really limited when it comes to understanding complex and nonlinear systems. And so we need these simplified models. If it is actually just prediction, then sometimes a really complex model can work, but at the cost of reduced understanding. 